Appearance changes were minimal for 1972, the end of an era. As you will notice that the egg crate grill, side vendor grills and later mod models have functional vents and some have vent trim. It was the last with the wipers, windshield wipers that hit under a vacuum operated panel and this model was the last to feature the removable rear window feature unique through 68 through 72. In addition to in 1972 the fiber optic lighting monitor system used in 68 to 71 was not included. This is a LT1. The LT1 in this generation was a two, 350 cubic inch 255 horsepower engine. 1741 of the cars were made in both coupe and convertible and this particular car is very unique in the fact that it comes with AC. The paint on the car is good, showing some age, but in general good shape. Same with our chrome bumpers, showing a little bit of age, but in very good shape. An excellent frame, and of course the beautiful LT1 engine with the smog pump, shielding, and of course that AC. Only 240 cars ever recorded had the AC with it, as this was a solid lifter, straight line kind of a car. But definitely a ton of fun to drive. The 1972 has a black interior. And again, I would call it in good shape. There is some small blemishes on the seats, correct loop style carpeting, but I would call it in general <coughs> the interior very good. The paint on the rear of the car is in good shape as well. Our chrome on the back is in good shape, showing little blemishes here and there. <coughs> Definitely investment grade car, and obviously pretty rare. Give me a call if you'd like to know more about this or the hundreds of Corvettes I carry in stock. As always, subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can see all this new fun stuff first. We'll look forward to seeing you all out on the road.